You guys are going to have the opportunity to actually design something and fly it on the space station. So it's never been done before in Ireland. And it's very exciting and it's a great opportunity. It's great because you combine science with the actual space exploration. So it's just it's really amazing to be honest. Yeah, I can't wait to try do the project and just come up with new ideas and work as a team to try to come up with something new and cool to send us into space. It gives a great opportunity for people to learn about different things and see what they like, what they don't like, and possibly decide on a future career from it. In 2009, she launched onto the International Space Station on Space Shuttle Discovery and performed a spacewalk. After logging 91 days in space, she returned on the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Well, thanks, Nora, and uh, it's really great to be with you guys. I know we won't believe it, um, but I was old enough to have watched the, the first moon landing and be inspired by that as a kid, just, and again, in the sense that, wow, that's really cool, but it never seemed like it was something that would be, be something that I could do. And so thankfully, having other people that believed in me and encouraged me to uh, at least apply for it, I was able to be considered for that. And then I can tell you, I pinch myself every day that for some reason, some act of God, that I was uh, chosen to do this. Since, uh, since a young age, I would have all been sort of fascinated by it, and even talking to an astronaut there was just even kind of nearly like a dream come true, to be honest. And this kind of, I suppose, inspires you to go ahead with it. Yeah. Seeing people reach their dreams of becoming an astronaut and stuff that really, um, I suppose, pushes you towards uh, achieving your goals. So, like Nicole, she'd go up there and uh, she would work. Nanoracks would have their research facility. People would send up experiments and Nicole, being the astronaut, would work with these experiments and uh, activate them and do loads of cool stuff with them. Stay there for 30 days and then be returned down to Earth and you can actually see the effect that flying in space has on these components. There's everything from uh, plants to yeast to loads of different ones. So have a look on it, get an idea and let your mind wander and be creative and think of what you'd actually like to see go to space. It'd be a good learning experience for people in TY and kind of get their projects and get their experiments up in space and have that experience. It was really good actually and it was really interesting to see from an astronaut so you could actually hear about the experiences and how it looks. Mm, I thought it was really inspirational. I'm thinking. I even wanted to do it after watching the astronaut on the Skype. A lot of times there'll be people in your life that will see something in you that you may not even consider um, for yourself. They'll see a, a skill or a talent that you have that, that you might have not have really thought of. And so those are the people that I consider to be uh, the mentors that I've had. I'd love to be able to kind of get involved with the kind of how do you say, the biological kind of side of it in terms of getting stuff up there and all that kind of stuff would be very interesting to see how what kind of stuff works and what doesn't. This kind of showed me what you can do with science and what you can do with engineering that will affect the world and affect the course of mankind and humankind. Uh, I really hope that what you guys are doing will uh, make its way into the station and that you can realize that whole kind of fulfillment of, uh, of getting something to space and being able to see how it works and bringing that research back. <laughs>